Hey guys, it's Miyuki Press, and today I show you how you can level up very fast in this game. This is something I should have done way, way earlier. Also, there's uh, there's already some videos about it how to uh, how to level up fast in this game, but not detailed enough. In my opinion, it's not detailed enough, and I just want to help you guys out as much as possible. Also, if this game is already so old, came out 2018, and we're still doing videos about it, because I have fun here, I have fun in this game. And that's why I still continue and will show you how you can level up in this game. There are two methods you can level up very fast in this game. Well, others not that fast, but still, it's the best you can do. There's one that you need to do online, and there's one you can do offline, but you are required to need a DLC for it. So the other one is Co-op. You, uh, are, you are required to have someone that helps you out unless you already know how to deal with it. Some people already know about this method in Co-op. And the other one is you need to buy the DLC for it because the, all the other maps or DLCs that I know of, they, they don't give you as much XP as this one DLC. So, let me get started with the first one. Okay, first of all, the one that uh, gives you a lot of XP is Behemoth in co-op. Uh, it's under the normal uh, section you get when you go to the lobby, talk to the to, to AI there. You can choose between hardcore and normal and it's always a normal one. But I don't know if uh, you need like the uh, DLC to have Behemoth, I think you do actually. It was DLC 3. Uh, I don't remember the name. Let me look it up real quick. The name of this DLC is Collapse of Balance. Because there, uh, Behemoth get in gets introduced and also the defensive battle, what you get as an extra. And I think you also get then uh, Behemoth. If that's wrong, please, in the comments, you can always correct me. I would like to uh, to know more about this game. <laughs> because even I have some stuff here that I don't know. But yeah. And this Behemoth gives normally 7 million experience. Yes, you hear it right, 7 million. But that's not enough. What you can do is, you, you can he go here to the shady material guy that's here in the... And the SPC Glocken, you see it. Here's your home, then you go here and he is, here he is. And I I prefer that you have hard mode unlocked already, so you have to play the story first. But also you can go here normal and on normal difficulty, but then he has he hasn't like strong stuff. And what you can do is he always sells stuff here. And you can filter it out memory chip filter and go to experience points and you find the uh, one that has the most like 15% I would say and if he doesn't have 15% experience points what you can do is just leave and talk to him again and he, are, he has new stuff again see it's always different I go back talk to him again filter experience points and he has always new stuff. That is what you can do. It's just an example right now what I'm doing. Okay guys, before it takes too long uh, to get a 15% one, it, it can take some while. I had a 70% one, 17 yes, but it was like for males. And I'm too lazy to change it to a, like a female accessories or something. So yeah, what you can do here now is... We have, and uh, right now I have a weapon here. And I buy two one for me and two one for your Arphasis. But for now I only buy three so I can show you how you can defeat Behemoth alone. So you buy two one for you and two, two one uh, for your Arphasis if you uh, play with someone else. So you can just stay there and just get experience. And if you do it alone, then you buy one for you and two for your Arphasis, like I do. And do it like this. Alright, and here I have one accessory that I got. It can really take some time. I hope you have 
I hope you have patience for that because it can really take some time and if you have even more patience than me then you can get more than 9% but what I do now is I get uh, two of them so one for me and one for my Arphasis and now I'm looking for another one that this can also take some time so yeah I will cut to that so you, I don't waste time for you guys Alright, here I got something else already, uh, it's thick rimmed glasses, so uh, um, you can't wear both helmets at the same time, and I got this as well. What is better than my previous two, I bought another one, but this is even better, so I buy two of them, and two of them. Alright, and now is the thing, if you uh, have DLC and have Lisbeth smithing level at level 12, you can even buy more weapons, yes weapons, and increase the experience points to the max. If you don't have it and only have it to 9, you can still do it, but it's not maxed out. It's I, I, I'm not sure what the cap is for level 9 Lisbeth, but it's not uh, as good as like level 12 Lisbeth. So, it's then it's way better if you just do it like that and then go to co-op and selling. But uh, also, the uh, accessories that I got, you can also increase it, but you also need a DLC for it. Yeah, everything needs a DLC. It's sad, but you need to do that if you want to increase the experience points. If not, just do it like that. Have a lot of patience and wait until he has like 15%, 60% stuff and just buy that. And that's it. So, alright. So, what you're gonna do now is... you Actually, let me go home first. Alright guys, what you're gonna do first is you equip everything you got. The pistol that I have here with the experience points. Give it to you. You give it two times to your Arphasis. I can't equip it. I actually have to make a new build for it. Oh my god. Alright guys, let's start again. As you can see it takes a lot of patience. <laughs> I had to make another build ex extra for that. Oh man, but yeah, this is how it looks like. Like I have the weapon here, and then the two other experience equipment that I buy also here. And the same goes for my Arphasis. She also has the two pistols with the experience points, and also the accessories with the experience points on it. And the way to defeat behemoth is you need a weapon that can do a lot of explosive damage like this grenade launcher here. the grenade launcher has explosive damage and it can be very very good I use this to farm behemoth or to help people farm behemoth so they can level up and you look if you look at my chips 70% explosive attack 60% critical damage, blah blah blah. We're not here for a build video, I just show you. You need explosive attack, that's what, what matters. And the best is with skill Plasma Blast to do a lot of damage. I can do uh, 12 to 30 million damage. I know if with this build it does 12 to 30 million da damage because I changed some stuff now. I don't have my accessories, accessories that I actually have. So we, but we will see. All that matters is that we defeat Behemoth and get our experience in the end. Even if we die. So, I didn't make my gadgets yet, so that's how it looks like. It's not nothing special. And yeah, also you can also have something like a sniper, like this Grim Reaper here. That also has explosive attack, damage versus max. This is what you need. The explosive attack and damage versus max is one of the important thing for Behemoth. Also critical rate because you wanna crit, believe me. So any any sniper with uh, explosive attack, but I recommend strong snipers like the Grim Reaper uh, or the Breakthrough, but the Breakthrough is also only available on DLC. I don't know if the Grim Reaper is also only available on DLC. I think you can get it on co-op as well but you need to be lucky 
So everything is sadly a wall on the DLC, if you know what I mean. But if you only uh, want to farm experience points or let someone else do it, then you don't need to worry about the weapon. But if you want to do it solo, you really need an explosive weapon. And how many experience points we will get from it now? Let's go there and check it out. All right, just to show you here, guys, in, in the, in the co-op, when you talk to her, you have normal and hardcore, and you click to normal. Then you go all the way all the way down, and there, this is Behemoth, and then you click it, and you start. If you don't see Behemoth yet, that means you don't have the DLC, and you also didn't finish the story. So you have to finish the story, uh, and to finish the story of the DLC. And again, if it's not true, please tell me. I want to know. And yeah, this is... This is the mission that gives the most XP in this game. All right, here we are. Let's see how much experience points we get. Make sure to stay as close as possible to your Arthur's so she can buff you. I don't have a lot of defense yes this hurts this hurts oh yeah I don't do as much damage as I thought but also I don't have metal dog at 100% yet so Oh god, okay. Normally has more defense. Oh yeah, my Arphasis is buffing me again. And I got 12 million experience points, as you can see. If you max out the experience stuff, you can even get 16 million, 18 million, or even 20 million. And you go to level 300 in no time. Uh, I had to skip this boss fight here because it was very chaotic for some reason. Behemoth didn't let go of me and always targeted me for some reason. And normally I don't have problems in this mission. <laughs> and also the damage wasn't that high that, I, that it normally was, probably because of spilled. Isn't that good? It's more for experience stuff. Well, yeah, you can see you get 12 million experience just from putting on the experience gear. From 7 million base experience points to 12 million is a lot. And it's recommended because, believe me, this farming, this boss over and over again can get really bored really fast. And for especially for the host that helps you out. It's, it's getting bored and then if you don't have experience gear on then he's eventually not gonna do any more <laughs> or tell you that you have to buy uh, to get experience gear so please do that so it's also faster and do doesn't waste time you know better than just sitting here for like three four or five hours and just farming you to level 300 takes a lot of time so this is the one way you can farm level very fast. I hope you find someone or have a weapon and can carry yourself. So good luck with this one. I hope you get help. But now let's go to the other method that's offline but needs DLC, Desonance of Nexus. All right, the other way you can farm level is just be on this map and kill everything you see. Especially mini bosses or the way you can farm bounty the the B one The the stinger Also gives good amount of XP when you farm it So you just kill everything here on hard mode Because you won't find Any better place to level up your character offline But if you're not a friend of online and don't want help from others. I mean, technically, you can also do Behemoth alone. 
but if you don't want to go online, then you can go here in this map and farm your levels. So many bosses here gives good amount of XP. Let me see. I didn't see it from him. Also, you can put experience gear on here if you want to, but be aware that you don't have any defense then. And they spawn over and over again. You can just run around here for like 30 minutes, see what you can kill. Look, th those those players here already give 30 million XP. I think with experience gear a little bit more. And also if you want, you can go into the dungeon and also farm there. Same effect. I'm sure he gives good amount of XP as well, but my box is full, so I get more of this message that my box is full instead of showing the experience. I think the drones even gave 15 million. Ah, 15 million. Yeah, it will be, it'll be good, 15 million. No, 15,000 XP. But yeah, as you can see, this is the best way to farm offline experience, is this map. I mean, makes sense, it's the last DLC, the last map. But also, you need to play it on hard mode, because if you play it on normal mode, uh, you don't get a lot of XP, because they are still level 100 or something. Too low level, and you only get like 1000 experience or something, that's, that's not worth it. So play the story first, before you do this DLC, unlock hard mode, and kill everything you got or everything you find here and then you will have no problems also you can go back to him again and kill him twice alright and that's how you Level up fast in this game. I think you got it by this point. And I don't have to show you more. I hope this helped you. Because leveling in this game really is a pain. It's really pain. But if you really have someone for Behemoth. Then take the chance. And do it and level, you up, level yourself up a couple of times. Also, but don't level up yourself when you just started this game. And you're new and you, you want to level 300 as fast as possible and rushing the story. Because do the story first. Learn the weaknesses of all the enemies. Because then you prepare it for what comes next, alright? Just saying. So you... So you better you get better at this game if you learn the weaknesses of the enemies, where they spawn, you already know where they are. And that's how I got good at this game. Also by learning some stuff like skills, experience what skills does. For example, I didn't use conceal, this skill here, for a long time until I knew it can help you not get detected by enemies you can just walk and they don't see you and they're like okay this makes everything easier why didn't i use this before also i wasn't a fan of the long stroke type z quick shot but now i use it myself and why i wasn't a fan of because i never knew how to use it and now i know how to use it i mean i'm still not a, f a huge fan about it i don't use it that often but sometimes i play with it and quick shot away everything 
that's how it is. So learn the game, then uh, ex uh, level up yourself, and then you can get better. It's that's how it works. So I hope this little video here helped you, and also understand how to level up yourself, how to uh, learn about the enemies and all that. And yeah, see you in the next video, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.